Today I'm in Los Angeles, California on the famous Melrose Avenue. For those of you who don't know, Melrose Avenue is home to some of the city's best secondhand vintage clothing and sneakers. For a reseller like me, it's the only place I want to be in LA. And today I get to spend the entire day sifting through these stores to see if I can find some fire attire for the personal and to try and sell on eBay for a profit. This is going to be fun. Let's get it. So I was recommended this first store out of the closet and the price points were a little high. There were only a couple of options like this Timberwolves t-shirt for five bucks. I also found an Indianapolis Colts t-shirt here on the Reebok tag. This was a size medium, again, $5. So pretty cheap for some cool stuff. This jersey, socks jersey, that was $45. So I had to pass and there were a lot of other price points just like the shoes at that rate. So I had to get out of there pretty quick. Pull up to the park, I'ma match you on a sticky I ain't tryna be nobody, I ain't gotta be Hundred bands up shopping at the Dollar Tree Never been a type, they gotta act, gotta lie I just go and get the bread and bring it back to the tribe so Buffalo Exchange was the next thrift store that I went into and this was really cool. This was jam-packed with sneakers, which got me pretty excited and even more excited when I found these. These are a pair of Jordan 1 mids. They're the Fearless Blues. Blue is, is a graffiti artist here in LA. So this was a pretty cool find for $74. And for me, that's about $110 Australian. So given the condition, they were actually pretty decent. I, I think I could have made a few dollars on those ones. We've got these as well, another pair of Jordan 1s. And then we've got the Air Force 1s here as well. So these are obviously a little bit worn as you can see a $36 price point I need to add 30% on to every price that you're seeing here with the Australian conversion rate they've also got a seven and a half percent California tax rate to add on top of this price so you've got to be really careful with how much you're spending because it can blow out pretty quickly these Patrick Ewings I thought they were pretty sweet brand new with tags the shoes definitely had some options, but I jumped into the clothing for a quick check as well. And we've got Boys in the Hood. This t-shirt for $14 was pretty sweet. Then we've got a LA Rams NFL jersey as well. That was pretty cool too with the golf uh, on the back as well, fully embroidered. Allen Iverson, Muhammad Ali. I love my sporting gear, guys. But to be honest, $14 is pretty much $20 Australian. So I'm not really going to make too much profit on these. So I have pretty much put all of them back on the shelf. That Chucky t-shirt was pretty sweet too. In the end, I went ahead and I grabbed the Jordan ones because I just think these are just such a rare pair of shoes and I should be able to make some money. How sweet are these shoes? The Jordan 1 mids. I've spent $110 Australian for these things, $83 American. I'm pretty good with my shoes. I think these are genuine, but I'm not 100% sure. So what I'm going to do to get them authenticated here in uh, LA is take them around to Cool Kicks. I've watched these guys on YouTube for a pretty long time and I know that they know their stuff when it comes to sneakers. I think they're genuine. If they are, they're gonna be worth about $280, but I can't be 100% sure. So let's go see what they say. So while the boys at Cool Kicks were doing their thing, authenticating the Jordan 1s, I made it over to what ended up being my favorite thrift store throughout the day. It was New Friend Vintage. They had a really good special, buy one, get one 50% off. So I really wanted to get in and see what we could find. Pretty crazy to see so many high-end vintage tees going for two to three hundred dollars, but I found the clearance rack, and this is the sort of stuff that I've been looking for for the entire trip over here in America. US sport tees. I've got a 95 Dallas Cowboys Super Bowl tee there, size extra large. The Lee Sport tag. I've got this one as well. World Series New York Yankees. This is a really cool tee. I uh, picked that one up for $15, which wasn't too bad. Paid up a little bit more for this one. This was 25 bucks, but this was a 1997 Conference Champions Philadelphia Flyers vintage tee on the starter tag as well. So that's why I was happy to pay up a little bit more for that one there. But also picked up this too, which was a Florida State Seminoles. This was a college football tee. Again, size extra large. Really love the big front print on all of these tees. Um, that one should go on to do 60 to $80 for us over here in Australia. We just look for this sort of stuff, guys. So be able to find it uh, over here in abundance is just very, very exciting. 
I've got this Super Bowl tee here as well for Brett Favre. Uh, I paid the 25 on that one as well. And then I really paid up at $50 for this one. This was a collaboration of Looney Tunes and the Steelers for 50 bucks. Man, that was absolute heaven. Thank you very much to the guys at New Friend Vintage. Go and check these guys out because they were running a pretty good special. They had some really good markdown gear as well and everything, 1990s, NFL, NBA, you name it, you guys saw it. I don't need to explain it, it was in there and I was absolutely loving it. I spent way too much time in there. I took up about an hour and a half in there just trying to come up with these six purchases. But look, it was 140 US dollars. That works out in Australian dollars to about, about $30 each. So look, it's not thrift store type pricing, but it's vintage gear that I know everyone back home really wants to get their hands on. And it's just in short supply. So to be able to get these for 30 a piece, I'm probably gonna be able to sell them for 60 a piece. It's not gonna be huge profit, but there's still gonna be something in it for me. And to be honest, it was just cool to buy, you know, stuff that I've really always wanted to find over here. So um, to finally get into a, a true vintage store, Huge thanks to these guys, new friend Vintage, because the price points allowed it to happen. American Vintage had some pretty cool stuff. This, I think, was the find of the day, guys. We've got the Miami Dolphins NFL Pro Line. This is a really good jacket, size large all fully authentic and it was going for $125. So for that reason, I did need to pass on it. But there was a Detroit Lions uh, a jacket as well. So two unbelievable jackets that I really wish I could have purchased. But in the end, I just went ahead with this Looney Tunes jumper. It was a size large, it was 50% off. So I've only paid $11 for it. It works out to 15 bucks Australian. I don't know, I think I could be able to turn it into about 35, 40 back home. Bunch of cool finds in this store, guys. I've got a Cleveland Indians top here. Now this one, again, a lot of Lee Sport tags, which is always a good thing. $9, that's $13 for me in Australia. So look, it's a little bit a little bit expensive, but I'm just on a roll here. I'm gonna go and pick it up. I've got this one as well. How about the pattern on this Chicago Bulls top? I'll pick this one up as well. It's a double XL, uh, nine bucks again. So $13 for that tee. I think we can convert that into about $30. So therefore, that one is definitely worthwhile going ahead with. This was a size 2XL, uh, just an LA Angels. It was only $5, size 2XL, so that's about a $7 purchase price. If I'm in Australia seeing that, I'm picking it up, so I couldn't help myself with that one there. Um, this was really cool. This was a Stanley Cup Champions uh, tee for the Detroit uh, Red Wings. So I've gone ahead and picked this one up. I actually was really surprised to see that it was just a $16 price point uh, on the Haynes heavyweight tag there as well. So that was really cool. Johnny Cupcakes, look, I don't know too much about the Johnny Cupcake brand. I, I know there's some decent comps on eBay. It was more the purchase price that made me go ahead with this one, um, just a $5 grab. So for a jumper, I thought that was a pretty cheap price. This one here was really cool. Uh, the ESPN Zone Monday Night Football T-shirt. This was a size 2XL, plain gray. Um, that was a pretty cheap price as well, just the $9. So I'm scanning through the racks. I'm trying to find these $13 price points. And that's exactly what we've got here with this Alvin the Chipmunks tee. Really like the look on the back of this one too, Get Monked. I thought that was pretty cool. I think that one says 2000 as well. So it's a bit of vintage to it as well. So I thought that was worth grabbing for that price. Um, this was an awesome tee. And I was really surprised to see that they'd priced their uh, Jordan tees for $5. Um, it even had a big Nike print on the back of this one as well. So size extra large. Red long sleeve top. That one's gonna go for some really decent money for me. Uh, there it is there, the big Nike Air logo on the back. So that was awesome. Um, jumped into the shoe section as well. This was definitely a little bit more tricky to try and find any value that I could be flipping for a profit. There was a ton of really good shoes, but nothing of really anything significant from a profit sense. Those Jordans were $150. These Jordans that you're seeing here as well, they priced them up to be 150 bucks as well. So when you're putting 7.5% California state tax uh, sales tax on there, um, this just gets way too high to try and find yourself a profit. So it was really cool just to see them, but unfortunately I, I wasn't able to purchase them. These I did go ahead with though. I thought they were in good condition. They were just $9, so $13 for a pair of Nike. Uh, the hyper courts there, I should be able to turn them into about $45 to $50, which is pretty standard for me when I'm going to sell my shoes on eBay. Next store that I want to shout out, um, we've got Second Street. So there it is right there, Second Street. 
really, really good price points for some pretty cool stuff. I've paid $83, as you would have seen there, and I got nine items. And those nine items, on average, is about basically $13. So, 13 bucks for those tees. I reckon I'm going to be able to flip them into maybe, you know, $35, something like that, on average. So, when you take out fees and postage, no stress whatsoever. That was that was some good buying. I'm pretty sure I spent about an hour and a half in there, and um, I reckon I scanned every single item of clothing. You've got to put in the work and do your time to get the results. So, uh, yeah, nine goodies and um, all of them at a pretty good price. Everything looks fine. It yeah. checks out. Um, it checks out. This year too is a collaboration by, by Jordan and Blue. He's a, like a graffiti artist. Yep. So this bubble is very hard to replicate because it was done hand drawn by, by him. Right. So yeah, this one's that of the authentic rub. Looks like you probably got it for a good deal, man. Sweet. Yeah, I paid 80. I'm going to give him a good clean. And oh, no. yeah, you can I'm from Australia, so I think they're going to go for about. No, no, for sure. But I saw these brand new in here for 350 so that's a good price. 350 brand new you sold yeah. for? I'll, I'll show you online right now. I think the size is this one. Oh, they're a 10. This one's a 10, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll show you what they go for online. It has got me thinking, though, if those were genuine, what else have they got in there that's genuine in that store that I got the Jordans from? I might have to go back in and have a bit of a look before they close. There was those um, Patrick Ewings. I really like the look of those. So if they're still in store, I'll do double check the price and I'll go ahead and grab them as well. Sorry having to do this in the bathroom, but it's just better lighting. It's too dark and gloomy in there, so I've got the camera on in here. Um, what a massive day it's been. We've, we've ended up sourcing 21 items today, and I've spent 370 US dollars, and that works out to 480 Australian dollars. So Melrose Ave, as good as it was, we have paid a lot of money for this stuff. But as you can see by all of that vintage gear, I think, it, I think it's gonna be worth it. I think I'm gonna be able to sell it for a few more dollars and make a profit overall. But ultimately, that doesn't really even matter. It was just awesome to be out sourcing and having the opportunity to buy these sorts of vintage sports clothing items because that's what I'm always looking for, but yet I can never find it in Australia. So to be able to get it here today in LA was um, was pretty epic. Definitely the sort of the high-end purchasing uh, sort of a video out of this trip. There won't be any other videos where I'm buying that sort of you know, true vintage for 20 bucks a piece. So I thought I'd have a bit of a lash out today, um, grab a few cool items, bring them back home. And I'm gonna put all of these items up onto my website, thehouseofmumba.com.au. Um, not sure if it'll be up when this video is up, but basically when I get back home, I'm gonna take proper photos, give them everything a, a bit of a clean, um, and then get them up onto that website and sell them off to you guys before I go ahead and put any that don't sell onto eBay. So that's a bit of an update as to what will be happening uh, with all of these items but um super fun day if you missed the last video that i put out as well i'm going to leave it for you right here because this whole trip to the uh, usa series is really up and running now we're a few videos in still got a few more to go so do look out for it and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet already appreciate your support guys i'm out of here these lights are heating me up we'll see you soon